Jersey Sports Zone's 2023 Camp Countdown Series is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Don Bosco Prep is brought to you by Jag One Physical Therapy. Don Bosco is determined to buck the trend in 2023. The Ironmen have made it to the non-public A championship game in each of the last two seasons, but have come up short to rival Bergen Catholic both times. This year's senior leadership is focused on one thing, finishing the job. We talked about mostly that uh, that it doesn't feel good to keep losing. Like we're 0 for 2 in the state championship and that hurt us because we both like both senior groups. So we just try to mostly improve, try to put that behind us, just try to get stronger, faster so that never happens again. After the state championship, we was back a week later, just in the weight room, pushing it, getting big, getting stronger and faster and just keeping that theme with our team, just going harder and finishing stronger. And, so we can go farther this season. Bosco graduated a massive senior class, but the roster is still littered with playmakers. Jaden Brown will once again captain the defense. The Syracuse commit is one of New Jersey's top all-around linebackers. Defensive tackle Jordan Thomas committed to Georgia during the offseason. He will anchor the interior. Mammoth commit Lamont Lester is an absolute terror on the edge, and rising junior Marquette Dorsey is a top DB in the making. Uh, I feel like we have talent all over the defense, from our linemen to linebackers all the way to our secondary. So I just feel like we just sprinkled it out. But our front seven, I feel like they're the best. They keep me and the linebackers clean, and they just get after it every day and just help us grow, and we just try to push each other every day. One of North Jersey's most productive tailbacks has returned to Ramsey. Injuries thrusted Logan Bush into the lineup last year. He ended up tallying over 1,300 yards and 13 rushing touchdowns. Bush put on 20 pounds of muscle over the offseason to get ready for his senior campaign. This year I just picked a couple of places I wanted to get better in my game and I worked on that all season and just up in my leadership, I'm a team captain this year, so just getting the young guys around me better and just coming back and doubling what I did last season is really my goal. Bosco's O-line was top-notch a year ago, and there are a few holdovers into this season. Amori Francis and Kevin Garcia will be tasked with protecting a new quarterback. That'll be either Charlie Lamorte or Devin Sisler. The Ironmen will go as far as the offensive line takes them. I take a lot of pride in it because Chase and Chris, they both, they both, and Coach Chuck, they all just, they gave me that mindset to just come every day and work hard. So I want to give it to the young guys too and, and like just help them get the same mindset because if we all got that mindset, we just going to be great. We're going to be able to punch through everybody that we, we go against. Whoever the starter is will have a major weapon outside in Bobby Mays. The six foot four inch wideout is New Jersey's reigning meet of champions gold medalist in the triple jump. Mays is a bona fide athlete on the cusp of a big year. The first month of the season is grueling for the Ironmen. Bosco faces Archbishop Spalding of Maryland, Erasmus Hall from New York City, and St. Joe's Prep from Philly, as well as St. Joe's Montvale, Bergen Catholic, and St. Peter's. All of those games are before October 1st. These Ironmen know the test that's in front of them they believe they are ready. We want to go out there and win against everybody. It's not, we don't got a certain person that we picking up. I mean, certain team that we picking up. We just want to go out there and win and compete. Those six first six games right out of the gate are very important because it's going to sh shock the state and how like, like what the team is for the year. So we're just taking one game at a time, one practice at a time. So those six games is very important. We're looking forward to them. I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.